Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, we are going to finish this dresser. But listen, if you've been here a couple times and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a video. All right, so let's go get into it. If you saw my previous video, you saw that I've already done the dresser drawers. Well, today it's time to finish up the project. Um, I didn't know when I started that I was gonna finish but once I got started, I couldn't stop. So the first step was to um, clean off the mirror. I actually used a Goo Gone first and then a de degreaser. And once I got through, I added painter's tape. Now this isn't the normal blue painter's tape. This is actually a kind that you could also use on brick, stucco, concrete, etc. I bought this kind because I know my husband has a painting project coming up sometime in the near future and I thought it would be useful to him. It worked just fine. I didn't have a problem with it at all. I didn't sand the mirror off like I sanded other things off. I didn't think it needed it. The mirror didn't take a lot of wear and tear like other areas. It was pretty smooth and I was okay with not sanding it. So I'm also not gonna use a roller. I'm gonna use a small paintbrush uh, to get the job done. So this is step number one. I started early. The sun wasn't even completely out yet, which was good because it wasn't super hot. It was actually quite cool. It felt good outside. The birds were chirping. The wind was, the breeze was blowing. It felt really good. I had music on, took a couple phone calls and got the job done. I absolutely love this color, you guys. It's called charcoal. Charcoal, it's by Rust-Oleum, and it's a chalk paint, and I really like it. And I'm really happy I got that one small can of paint, and it did the entire dresser. So, um, tell me how you like the color down in the description box. What do you like about this project that I'm doing? Um, please don't judge me. I've never done this before. It was my first time, and I'm actually really proud of how it turned out. Once I finished with the mirror, I started on the um, the drawers, and I actually began by adding a brown glaze. What I did was brush it on and then wipe some of it off. I wanted to see how it would turn out, and I did about three drawers before I decided to just, that I really like just sanding it, the look of that, versus adding the um, glaze. Um, so after the first three drawers, two of the wider ones and this uh, last small one, all I did was sand the rest of them. It gave it kind of a antique old distressed look that I really like. And so I stuck with that. Here, as you can see, um, this is what they turned out with the darker ones are the ones that have the glaze like the one i just pointed out and then the lighter ones were just sanded these two bigger drawers side by side one is sanded and one is not to give you an idea of what they look like with um just painted and then with me taking a sander and going across it i didn't do a deep sand on it i just wanted a light look i was afraid to do a whole lot um, now here are both of those drawers done. I think it looks fabulous, you guys. I think it looks ab absolutely fabulous. I'm not even worried about the ones that have glaze on it. Here's the finished mirror. Haven't sanded it yet. It's still drying, but it looks really good. The color is absolutely fabulous. So let's go ahead and start putting um, the hardware on so we could get on to the dresser. And no, I'm not going to bring the dresser outside. It's just too much. I believe I'll be able to do it on the inside and get it over with. Tell me how you like um, the hardware that I put on the dresser drawers. I think they look really good and they match the nightstands perfectly.
So now I'm gonna cover up all of the clothes on my bed. Those, that's everything that came out of the dresser drawers. I don't want uh, dust to get in it and I don't want paint to get on it. So I cover those first so that I can get started. And I don't know if you can tell, I don't even know if I'm gonna show you, but that same thick plastic that I used outside on the table is all over the floor and then the dresser was brought over to the middle. First step, of course, is to sand it off. I paid special attention to the top of the dresser because that had the most wear and tear. As you can see, as I'm sanding, there are a lot of nicks and stuff in it. Um, I didn't do a hard sand either. I didn't have the energy. I was really tired, uh, but I did go across the dresser a couple of times. Once I finished, I took my goo gun and I sprayed it down. And then I went back over it with a degreaser to get all of, cause Goo Gone is really oily. So I went back over it with a degreaser to get that up and to make it dry so that when I paint the dresser, the paint will stick with it. Every day I'm looking for a way to return to the town when everything was easy to learn. So serious Building up an illusion Of a world full of trust Moving on When everything's gone It's hard to be strong Confusion in my mind No way to turn back I really don't have a lot of paint left, but I did have enough to finish the dresser. I was confident in that. And so I went ahead and got started with um, painting the dresser. It didn't take long at all. And actually, honestly, I went over everything. The only thing that I went over a couple of times was the mirror, and that's because of the round parts at the top, just making sure that was covered. I only put one coat on the dresser and the drawers and it doesn't look bad at all it actually looks really good i don't have any regrets for the way i did it um, my husband also thinks that i did a wonderful job he didn't see it until it was completely done and put back together minus the mirror because he'll have to do that and i wasn't home he actually called me to tell me how wonderful it looks so what do you think i hope you enjoy so here it is you guys i absolutely love it i think i did such a good job i'm so happy if you look at the drawers in the middle and the one to the left you can see the difference in where i glazed and where i didn't i kind of wish that i hadn't glazed i like it lighter but i think it looks fabulous the mirror looks good and it's going to look even better when my husband attaches it to the dresser but tell me what you think in the description box and thank you for watching Building up an illusion of a world full of trust Moving on When everything's gone It's hard to be strong Confusion in my mind No way to turn back time
feels like it never happened maybe just a dream could it be